Check, check. It's bigotry, trivia time. Grab your friends and play it all out. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of General Knowledge Trivia. My name is Ali with Bag of Tricks Entertainment. We are going to be playing uh, General Knowledge Trivia. I just said that, but I'll say it again uh, for the people in the back. Thank you all for joining us. I'm very excited that you're all here with us on this beautiful Tuesday evening, just after 7 o'clock Central Time here in Illinois. Uh, wherever you're joining us from, thank you for being here, choosing to play trivia with us. Um, we're excited that you're here. If this is your first time playing trivia, obviously you've made it to YouTube. You can see me, you can hear me, but you do still need to join our online game. You can do that at the link you see on this screen. Um, as always, my recommendation is to watch the YouTube video stream on your computer or on your smart TV and to play the actual trivia game from your phone. It's not a requirement to do it that way, but that seems to be the best way um, in terms of mobility and being able to see and answer at the same time. Um, so wh whatever device you're playing from, open up a web browser and go to online.bagoftricks.com. Online.bagoftricks.com. Once you get to that site, it will ask you for a code and you can enter in the code TRICKS2. All one word, T-R-I-C-K-S-2. Once you've done that, you'll see this screen that I have up in front of you. It'll ask you for your name. My name is Ali. And it'll ask you what state you're playing from. If you're in uh, the United States, obviously, if you're from Canada or, or Mexico or the UK or Italy, we've had a lot of people joining us from all over the world, New Zealand and Australia. Thank you all uh, for joining us when it's your lunchtime right now. Um, wherever you're playing from, just let us know there in that box. That doesn't all we do with that information is celebrate it. Um, it's not, there's nothing secretive about it. We're just trying to find out how many people we have joining us from different states and countries. So once you've hit that and you have that information submitted, you'll see this screen that says the game will begin shortly. That means you're good to go. Once you see that screen, you can hang tight. Uh, make sure you leave the video up as well. Once you see that screen, you don't have to do anything else because the game won't start until I start the game, which I will do here in just a couple minutes. I want to give everyone a chance to join. And again, if this is your first time playing, I want to give you a chance to make sure that you actually join the online game. You're not answering here on YouTube. You are just hearing and seeing the questions. So thank you again for being here. We do have a prize tonight. Thanks to our awesome sponsor, Elmhurst Brewing Company out of Elmhurst, Illinois. Uh, they've put a $25 gift card up on the line to the top participant tonight, which means if you finish in first place, you've won $25 to this incredible brewery and restaurant. They are open for curbside carryout and delivery in a limited area. Um, they've, make it, they've made it super simple. If you win, you just contact us. We give them your info, and they start a $25 credit for you. They're at the restaurant, at the brewery. You don't have to wait for anything in the mail. The next time you call to order, you just say, hey, my name is so-and-so. I won. I won. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, hi, my name is Jonas. Uh, and they will have your credit on file. That was good. I just thought you were saying a real name. <laughs> uh, you heard somebody behind the camera. That's Gina, my wonderful fiance. As always here behind the keyboard answering your questions and your comments there on YouTube. So give her a big shout out. Big thank you for doing this. Um, I don't know if you saw earlier one of the persons hanging out with us tonight. Taco is here. He is currently snoozing. He was out with us in the Yard all day, we did some gardening, took him for a walk. Oh, look how tired he is. He didn't even pop up at that word. Oh, well, he thought about it. Um, but anyway, thank you all for joining us. Thank you to those of you that have supported Bag of Tricks uh, through this endeavor of online trivia. This is still new to us. Um, we've been an entertainment company going on seven years, and we've been an online entertainment company going on seven weeks. 
Um, so this is absolutely still a new adventure, but we're excited to be taking it with you. Um, that's the optimist in me. We, we would certainly rather be at the bars and the restaurants, but if this is what we have to do, we'll do it. Um, so thank you for joining us. Thank you for the support, everybody, whether it comes in the form of liking, sharing, commenting on our posts on Facebook, or just inviting your friends and family. Um, that really helps us out. Um, that really helps us reach more people and have more people participating. So thank you to those of you that have done that. And a special thank you to anybody out there that's donated. Uh, financially to Bag of Tricks. We are shut down just like many other businesses. We are not unique in that fact. Um, so I really appreciate that you guys take your time and you choose to send funds our way to help us continue to put on these online events. It really means a lot. Uh, and as you've seen over the last seven and now almost eight weeks, it has allowed us to put on more and more events, a wider variety of events, um, and offer up special things that we can do for you, um, specifically when we're talking about donations. By the way, if you're interested in donating, the links are down below. Uh, Venmo, PayPal, Zelle, that'll be there all night. Um, we choose one person every week, and if you have donated in the last week, you're automatically eligible. We choose one person. If we choose you, you get to select one of the themed trivia nights we do the following week, or a general knowledge trivia night you can choose. Um, some categories for us to do. This week, Kayla was our winner. I think she's probably here. She's here. She's yeah. here. Uh, Kayla's here tonight. She was our winner. Kayla. You can see it on the screen right now. Monk Trivia. In her honor, she asked for Monk Trivia. I just saw that Tony Shalhoub put out a special message as Monk uh, I don't remember today or, or yesterday. Thank you for sharing that, Kayla, in the Bag of Tricks online community on Facebook. Join that if you haven't, guys. That's a fun way just to continue this online conversation after the YouTube stream ends. Um, so you could be the winner next week if you donate at all. This week, you're automatically entered. If we choose your name, you get to tell us one trivia night you'd like to see next week. It could be something that we've never done or something we've done a bunch that you'd still like to see more, like Friends or The Office or, or Parks and Rec or Harry Potter or Disney. Um, or if, if you have a random favorite show or book or movie, we could do trivia over that for you. So that's our way of saying thank you right now, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the donations. And thank you for supporting Bag of Tricks and these other businesses that have continued to support us during this time, like Elmhurst Brewing Company. You're going to see over the next few weeks more and more sponsors. I've been reaching out um, to the best of my ability to a lot of our clients um, that we've worked with, obviously, in, in real person uh, when we're hosting. And I would like to get more and more of these local businesses involved to help them get some exposure through these online streams because you guys have been incredible about showing that love back. So... Thank you so much to everybody that's here tonight and um, will be here in the future. We have Survivor Trivia coming up at 9 o'clock, so we're going to dive into this trivia right now. Um, please come back. Whether you're a big fan of Survivor or if you've just seen a little, uh, it's an approachable trivia. It's going to be tough overall, but it's going to be fun. Uh, and it's tonight at 9 o'clock, so if you have other plans, just cancel and hang out with us. Um, I'm going to jump up to the corner here. Oh, actually, I accidentally clicked Taco, so let's look. Oh, I'll jump up to the corner. This is the last chance, last reminder, make sure you're in the online game because we're going to get this started. We have 88 people on right now, so thank you all for being here. Uh, I'm going to give it one more second because I still see that um, ticking upwards, people joining. So I mentioned we have Survivor Trivia tonight at 9. Tomorrow is one of our two weekly music bingo nights. If you've never played, that's a lot of fun. As always, it's free to play, but we have a gift card up for grabs there too. Um, Bobby K will be playing singer-songwriter hits. So all of your favorite singer-songwriters from the last 60, 70 years, um, he'll be doing that. It's free to play. You just have to register ahead of time if you want to be eligible to win the prize. All that information's on Facebook. And then we have general knowledge trivia tomorrow at 9, Thursday at 7, and then, as I mentioned, Kayla's monk trivia uh, Thursday at 9 o'clock. Friday is fundraiser Friday. We're raising um, money for the Bloomingdale Township Food Pantry. Um, shout out to the Moms of the Western Burbs. Um, who have set this event up. Um, they have coordinated and donated to make this event even happen in the first place. So uh, we'll be hosting its free public event open to all of you out there on Friday. We'll be asking for donations, not to Bag of Tricks, to the, um, the food pantry. Every $25 feeds a family um, in, that, in that area. So please join us then. Again, it's another fun night, something to do while we're all stuck at home. Um, as long as this lockdown goes on, guys, we're going to keep doing this for you. So we really appreciate it when you join and, and make this more fun. Um, keep talking in the comments. I know Gina has a great time when you guys do, and I try to check in. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to throw the first question up on the screen. We're starting it out with multiple choice questions tonight, which means there are four answer options. You won't see them until I actually click the timer. So you can see at the top, the first question tonight is, what is the name of your host? That's me. You don't have to type it in. You're going to have four answers to choose from, but they won't pop up until I start the timer. When I start the timer, you have 30 seconds to click an answer, A, B, C, or D. 
Whichever one you click, that's your answer. No take backs, no undos, no switchies. If you click A, A is your answer. If A is correct, you earn points based on how quickly you answer it up to a maximum of 150 points. That's pretty much it. This first one, as I mentioned, is a practice question. It looks and feels like a regular question, but it's not worth any points. So here we go. Let's get it going. Actually, cheers, guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being so awesome. Ah, let's see. Question number one. What is the name of your host tonight? What is my name? Is it AJ, Brian, Ali, or Kevin? AJ, Brian, Ali, or Kevin? More importantly, were you a BSB or an NSYNC <laughs> or BB Mac or 98 Degrees or O Town or Together? Um, what am I missing here? Who are the other big boy bands? NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, those are not so much. New Kids on the Block, if you will. All of the above, Lindsay. Yes, Menudo. Uh, Chris, have you ever actually looked into Menudo? Um, there have been officially like a hundred members because they take you in when you're a certain age and then they kick you out when you're a certain age. Um, they just rotate through. Uh, it's really weird, um, but props to them for being around forever. Yeah, I know. I know. Ricky Martin was in Menudo um, and then was out of Menudo because he got too old, I think. Um, it's really interesting to see. Uh, can we keep this pick up the whole time, Karen? Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, I wish. Uh, Karen, I saw you said you were playing Disney trivia. Where were you playing Disney trivia? Let me know. I might want to check it out. I never get to play trivia. I host trivia for y'all. 90% uh, of you were correct. 62 people said my name is Ali. Some of you thought I was AJ, the bad boy. Uh, no, I was never the bad boy. I would have been the quiet cousin Kevin, probably. Um, certainly not the lead singer. But great job. If this had counted for points, you would have earned points based on how quickly you answered, but it did not. This one's just for fun. Uh, but we'll call it a social. Cheers. Socials are optional. It's just how we celebrate how well you guys do. I offer it up. Cheers. You're welcome to join. Empty. Cheers. <laughs> she just drink. You needed your drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Question two. This is where it starts. First real question. What was the second feature film released by Pixar. What was the second feature film released by Pixar? Was it A Bug's Life, The Incredibles, A Toy Story 2, or Up? Ooh, I like that idea, Amy. A choreographed Bigatrix trivia dance. Oh, yes. Who's a choreographer out there? Some, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, Maggie's going back to Tailgaters, answering phones. That's great, Maggie. I thought Should I saw you said that they were opening. <laughs> yeah, maybe we need to get some lunch. Oh, we'll finally get together at the bar. We get a flesh mound dance. Oh, yes. Yes, and oh, wow. I like Karen that. Karen told us, let us know what. I saw that. All right. Let's see what's up. A lot of you said A Bug's Life. Uh, six of you said Toy Story 2. Nobody really thought up. Three people said Incredibles. 87% of you were correct. It was A Bug's Life. Um... Pixar was not too happy that Ants was released at pretty much the same time. Um, A Bug's Life and then Toy Story oh. 2, um, those three films coming out in the 1990s. So great job, the 87% of you that knew that. Let's go to question three. Uh, shout out to the people who complained because the last NFL gif was a Packers one. Um, now I've got one making fun of the Bears, if you will. How long is each quarter? Of a regulation NFL game. How long is a quarter in a regulation NFL game? Is it 12 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes? <laughs> it's like the quickest hands Jay Cutler ever had. <laughs> Grabbed his helmet. If that was a football, he would have fumbled it like 40 yards hey, back. He's going through a divorce. Oh, he is getting divorced to Christy Calamari. Oh. <laughs> yes. Henceforth and forevermore. Not, this is not my favorite. If anyone wants, you know, Laguna Beach. Oh, Laguna Beach. I don't hate people, but I really don't care for that guy. Yeah, I don't think you're not alone, Lindsay. All right, everybody's in. You guys did well. I'm going to call it a social, actually. 15 minutes. Cheers. Great job. Um, I would think that that one's, you know, a quote-unquote no-brainer because it's called a quarter, but I don't know. Half times, periods orders or different numbers and everything so i'm really proud of you guys great job it's about as sporty as we get tonight i think i think we have one other sports question 
Question four, the Niagara Falls, famous Niagara Falls seen here, are at the boundary between Ontario and which U.S. state? Is it New York, New Hampshire, Maine, or Vermont? Shout out to our friends from Canada, our, our friends from Canada on tonight. Christiane, Bobby Kate, other friends from Canada? Oh, when they dance with Daryl. Or when they dance down the aisle. We shared that on the Begatrix page. Oh, brought me this joy and most of you. Yes, Christiane, hello. Bobby Kate, hello. Noelle received her glasses today. Noelle, you did? I hope they were all in peace. Yeah, they were all good. We always get worried shipping fragile stuff. <laughs> I hope you liked the multiple fragile stickers. Uh, let's see what you thought. This is an water official <laughs> official social. No water boundary. This is, I guess, technically it is a water boundary. Well, shit. Cheers, everybody. 97% of you got the correct answer. New York. Um, I'm just going to announce this right now because it's not official. We haven't actually made it. But I was uh, tipsy last night, and I told Gina we need to make up an official Bag of Tricks cocktail. We will. And I think that I already know the name of it. Water Boundaries. <laughs> Perfect. So it has to have Blue Curacao? Yeah, Water Boundaries. Blue Curacao. Oh, um, water Boundaries. Yeah, that's good. That, yes. The, and it, the Water boundary. Yeah, the recipe will just be like, mix between four to six ounces, like however many you consider <laughs> oh, to God. be a boundary. Just no, kidding. it has to be well crafted. Well, no, it'll be great. We will want some input from you guys here soon. Water Question board. five. Uh, we're talking about pizza, talking about pizza, the dot on the front of a domino, an actual domino, playing domino is technically called a pip. That's just a piece of trivia for you. How many pips are on the famous logo for Domino's Pizza? How many pips, how many little dots are on the domino logo for Domino's Pizza? Is it one, two, three, or five? Pizza dude's got 30 pizza. seconds. Yeah. You know what they say. Anyone else out there? Oh, let's all do the scarn. Pizza every day. The scarn would be fun. That was pretty easy, yeah. too. Anyone can dance that. Let me shake their hand. Water boundaries. Sorry. Um, Bobby's having technical difficulties. Probably the piano. That's my guess. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look at how you answered. You guys did pretty well. I like asking this one in the bars. Uh, without multiple choice, people just give me random guesses. Uh, but you guys did pretty well. 52 people said three pips. 24 people said five pips. The correct answer here is three pips. Congratulations. Well done. We are five questions in for the counted for points. So we are going to take a look at the standings. If you're in first, second, or third place, your standings will be at the top the entire time. Everybody else is going to rotate through, so make sure you're watching. Currently in first, you're what sneezes are, I believe. In second, Missy D, what's up? In third, Mert Whirlin. I, I think that's Matt Whalen, <laughs> and I really appreciate that. Yeah, Mert like Whirlin. Mert Whirlin. <laughs> uh, thick ass corgis plus Danielle, Christina, Nick Miller from the streets of Chicago. Oh. Love it. You got Tran with you. Karen G. Jennifer Widener. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Your theme song haunts my dreams. That's fair. Uh, Ashley, Amanda, and Marcos Glover, Caesar the salad dressing, dude. The slow and the irritable. Love it. A poo poo and a pee pee. Ooh. I have a I have a question. Um, I have a question tonight dedicated to Team A poo poo and a pee pee. So I'm glad you guys are here. Let's take Brian Allen. Too drunk for true. Olivia with I'm assuming six exclamation points unless you stepped it up. Hey, tacos party people. Murdered Hornets. Is quarantine over yet? No. Red Hot Trivia Peppers. I want to know who's too drunk for trivia. I think that's true. Yeah. Are, are you really too drunk for trivia? Drunk for trivia. Oh, it's drunk for trivia. Drunk for trivia. Drunk for trivia. I'm too drunk to even say it right, so you know, <laughs> here we are. Oh, Lord. All right. We're almost through twice, and then we'll move on here. All right, that's everybody. Let's go on. Next five questions. Next five questions. Whoa. Olivia, seven exclamation points. I like that you paid uh, Abigail Griffin, dedicated question to the spicy meatballs. I will in the future. Um, I don't think I have a pasta or meatball question tonight. Question number six. Which American president oversaw the Louisiana Purchase in 1803? Which of these presidents was president 
1803? Was it Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, James Madison, or George Washington? Thank you, Nancy, for the donation. We appreciate it. I'm excited to see what somebody chooses next week for trivia. We're also going to do our monthly drawing. And I mentioned, I think Chris asked before, we're going to do a monthly drawing. Um, and I think we're going to let somebody choose one, uh, a theme as well. So that should happen this week sometime. All right, let's see what you th thought. 59 people said Thomas Jefferson. 17 people said James Madison. A couple people, John, Ta John Adams. Nobody thought George Washington. Good job. Uh, the correct answer is Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Great job. Question number seven. Uh, downstairs. Uh, question seven. Named after a famous scientist, which chemical element has atomic number 99? Welcome back, periodic table questions. Named after a famous scientist, which element is 99 on the periodic table? Is it Einsteinium, Fermium, Newtonium, or Curium? It's still on copper. Yeah. Oh, what a boy. He's good today. Our neighbor's dog barks like he's paid to do it. I know. Tacos, he gets riled up sometimes, but he, we have him out there with us, and he just sits down, and he doesn't even taunt the other dog anymore. Well, he he just... actually went right up to his face today and just did nothing. <laughs> so I guess he does taunt him a little. Um, let's see what you guys thought here. It was, uh, in the beginning, a lot of you were answering the same, and then it started to split here. 22 people said Newtonium. 37 people said Einsteinium. 14 people Fermium. Uh, nine people curium. These, I might have made up Newtonium. I think it's real, but fermium, curium, and Einsteinium are all real. Um, and the correct answer here is Einsteinium. Einsteinium. Great job. That one's just fun to say. Einsteinium. Question eight. You know I love my birthstones. What is the official birthstone for the month of January? Which of these is a birthstone for the month of January? Is it garnet, topaz, peridot, or pearl? Is it peridot or peridot? Peridot. Peridot. I would, that's what I would yeah. say. Sounds French. Peridot. Uh, Nicole, it may not even be fake. I don't know. <laughs> you don't, don't beat yourself up. Uh, Becky, pretty sure all these are fake. <laughs> um, which one did I say might have been fake new tone? No, none of those are fake. Uh, Yeah, Newtonium is also called Coronium, um, but it is. Newtonium's on there, too. So don't beat yourself up. Look at that. Yeah. You're doing well. That's a, but that's number 119. Um, all right, here we go. I think a lot of you, yeah, a lot of you got this. 70% of you got this right. Garnet, the correct answer. 11 people said Topaz, um, but Garnet is the correct answer. These questions aren't well, going my anywhere. I got that right because that's for birthday. Yeah, right? All right, question nine. By what name is rapper and actor O'Shea Jackson better known? By which name is rapper and actor O'Shea Jackson better known? 30 seconds. Is it 50 Cent, Ice T, Ice Cube, or Ludacris? Mm -hmm. Gesture. Uh, it's almost gone now. I'm going to need another one. Yeah, you Thanks. My computer just had a stroke. Is it okay? You back? Oh, I see. Bad um <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> I read it as but um Oh, okay. Gina read it right, but um my brain. Oh, right. what a Jeff. I get the chemistry ones right periodically. It's <laughs> like Perfect one-line That's it. fantastic. 48% uh, of you said Ice Cube. 17 of you said Ice T. Some of you said Ludacris. Some of you said 50 Cent. Correct answer is Ice Cube. Ice Cube, O'Shea Jackson. I just watched 
um, oh, I forget the name of the movie, but it's a good one, on Netflix with Gerard Butler and O'Shea Jackson Jr., uh, a couple other, yeah, his son, who, who's a great actor himself. Um, that one's on there. If you're into heist movies and action, it's pretty gory, though, bloody. If you don't like that stuff, stay away. Um, question number 10. Originally debuting in 1986, what popular Stephen Sondheim musical was turned into a film in 2014? Is it Sweeney Todd, Into the Woods, Gypsy, or Assassins? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, wait, is that the name of the movie I was talking about? No, that's with Ice Cube. It's in 2005. Oh, well, this cocktail is hitting me. It's okay. Thank you. All right, we have one more multiple choice question after this, but we're going to look at the answers first. 28 of you, 23 of you said Sweeney Todd. Um, oh, this one, not as far apart as I thought. Um, 23 of you said Sweeney Todd, 52 of you said Into the Woods. It was, in fact, Into the Woods. Into the Woods was the 2014. Sweeney Todd came out in 2007. Uh, I'm not sure when the play um, debuted, but the film debuted in 2007. So good job, Into the Woods, the correct answer. We have one more multiple choice coming up right here. Number 11 always takes a second, so... <laughs> you can put those. Yeah, thank you. All right, question 11. Which actress played the Bond girl named Jinx in the 2002 film Die Another Day? Which actress played the Bond girl Jinx in the 2002 film Die Another Day? Was it Eva Green, Terry Hatcher, Halle Berry, or Denise Richards? I think it's one and a half ounces gin. Oh, you have the, re the recipe today. No. As I spilled gin. You spill as long as you spilled it into the shaker. Uh, that's <laughs> All right, let's see how you guys do. Oh, Taco's finally awake, so let's get off my mug and on his. Okay, I thought that this might happen, and it did. Congratulations. This is a social. 74 of you knew. Halle Berry, the correct answer here. Denise Richards uh, and Terry Hatcher were both before this one. I believe Eva Green was after this one, but the correct answer here, Halle Berry. That is a social, so cheers, everybody. Congratulations. You've made our last question of multiple choice format a social, so congrats. Oh, big yawn. Um, let's look at the standings after that drink. Again, if you're in first, second, or third, your standing will stay on the top of the screen. Everybody else is going to rotate through. So let's take a look, see if anything's changed. Uh, in first, Michelle W. In second, Shlemiel, Shlemazel. In third, the mortar, the mortar, the murder hornets. I just went full Andy Bernard. Murder. I like how you were able to say Shamil Shamazel. I could say Shamil Shamazel, but I can't say murder hornets. Actually, I sounded more Dr. Evil, but that's <laughs> neither here nor there. Um, guys, thanks for being here. Uh, let's we see. Ooh, good old son. I was in this show 20 years ago. Uh, Becky, my spouse says this was the worst Bond film. I would, I would probably believe him. I don't, I don't remember loving the Pierce Brosnan films. I think that he got a lot of. People liked uh, GoldenEye because of the game a lot, but I don't think that those films were amazing. Um, oh, hi. Taco says hi. She later went on to much success in Catwoman. Chris, wouldn't you say? Uh, Madison is very concerned the murder hornets are Tracker Jacker, though. Uh, who you said Lauren is playing for the first time tonight? Yeah, she got a very warm welcome. Oh, thank you for being here, Lauren. We appreciate it. Um, we, if you haven't figured it out yet, we try to make this trivia very interactive. Um, this is certainly not just a run of the mill, do a quick trivia game. We like to chat in the comment box, in the chat box, and I like to communicate with you guys. Um, so I'm glad that you're here. I'm, I hope you're having a good time. Um, if you are, let us know. And if you're not, don't, um, I would rather just pretend that you are. Uh, but seriously, thanks for being here.
Uh, so this, I'll wait for the shaking. It's an important shaking. I'm not mad to wait. Um, so this next part, uh, to anybody like Lauren, if this is your first time playing, make sure you're listening right now. This is where we talk about something very important, and that is how the game is going to change right now. So we are no longer doing multiple choice questions. From this point on, you have to submit your answer all on your own, which means you have to type in the answer, whether that's from your computer or from your phone. It works the same. You have to type in your answer, and you have to hit submit before the time runs out. You still have a 30 second timer. I recommend getting your answer in before the timer hits five, just to make sure you give yourself the best chance of your answer actually coming in. Again, this is the internet. It's not our preferred way of doing trivia, but it is our only way of doing trivia right now. So um, we are working with the technology to the best of our ability. My recommendation, again, you have 30 seconds. Get your answer in before that timer hits five. Um, and the thing that you need to know is you no longer lose points the longer that it takes you to answer. Um, so you have, all 30 seconds, if you will, or 25 seconds, as long as you get the answer in and it's correct, you earn all 200 points for the next 10 questions. Um, you either earn 200 or you earn zero. So that's all you really need to know. Um, my one request, everybody, you know this by now, try to spell your answers correctly. Sometimes um, I make it tough and I don't mean to, like yesterday's Sarah McLaughlin, um, that's on me. Um, but for the most part, do your best to spell your answers correctly because if it's right, and you spell it right, the computer automatically gives you points, um, and you don't have to worry about me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Marking it right. Um, so here we go. This next round is a mini bonus round. All that means is that all five of the questions come from the same category. Um, they all come from the same category, so it's the same prompt, but the actual question is different. I'm just pulling it up here so I can tell you what it is. Okay, yeah, we're talking U.S. Geography. We're talking U.S. geography, but in the form of U.S. national landmarks. So I'm going to tell you a famous national landmark, um, and you just have to tell me what state you would find it in. Um, so I'll give you a famous U.S. landmark. You tell me what state you would find it in. That's it. That's how this will work. You just have to type in a state. So take your time. Spell these states correctly. Yeah, here we go. Question number 12, the first of the U.S. landmarks. In what state in the United States would you find this landmark, Mammoth Cave National Park? I've been there. Gina's been there. In what state would you be able to visit Mammoth Cave National Park? You just want to type that state in and hit submit. You have the full time. Again, don't rush through it and spell it wrong because you're, you're trying to get it in quickly. You don't have to get it in super quick anymore. Your points um, will not decrease. It says that they are, but they won't. I turned that off. I'm not. Oh, yeah. No, you're good. It says 150 up there. You are good. All right. All right. Just checking for anybody that got it right, but maybe spelled it a little wrong. <laughs> um, so here are all the answers we had come in. A lot of you said Kentucky. Eight of you said Montana. Five people said California. A couple Tennessee, Missouri, Indiana. 81 answers came in, so great job. Uh, one person said Gremlins 2, the new batch. <laughs> I love the throwback. Appreciate it. Uh, the correct answer here, Mammoth Cave National Park is in Kentucky. Congratulations. Congratulations. What is even on the other side of this? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. This is why I can't look at the comments. I get really sidetracked, but I love your conversations. All right, here we go. Number 13. In what state would you find this U.S. landmark, Acadia National Park? Where would you find Acadia National Park. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what you guys thought. I'll throw the answers up on the screen. 
A lot of different answers here. A lot of you said Maine, though. Half of you said Maine. California, Washington, Wyoming, Michigan, Canada. Uh, <laughs> the correct answer here is Maine. Maine is where you would find Acadia National Park. Congratulations. That's two out of five in this mini bonus round. Um, if U.S. geography isn't your thing, fear not. There are only five questions like this. And then we move on to, I promise you, a completely different type of mini bonus round. So stick in here. Question 14. In what state would you find Fort McHenry? In what state would you find Fort McHenry? Sleeping like a baby now. Let me look at these comments. Six DVD box of Catwoman. Gremlins 2, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, I like that. Portugal the Maine. I like it, Jeff. I feel like Andy, where are the stats? This is with the big faces. <laughs> the old 51st state, Canada. Uh, Lindsay Davis asks if Gina's taking orders. <laughs> Where are the statues with the big faces? Nice. Uh, the correct answer here. Uh, I'm always surprised how many people know this one, and you guys did very well. Maryland. 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 The correct answer here. I know it sounds nice when you say Maryland. All right. Great job, Maryland. The correct answer. Question 15. Uh, in what state would you find the U.S. landmark, the Gateway Arch? Where would you find the Gateway Arch? Which state? Did Katniss take a trip? <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you need absence for that? It's just like a rinse anyway, right? Absence of absence. That's delicious. Just leave that. I'll have both. Just kidding. All right, so I learned yesterday, once all the answers come in, I need to give it five to, set, five to 10 seconds before I start grading, just so everybody's answers get counted. We're doing our best to counteract uh, the internet when it tries to work against us. <laughs> Somebody said Illinois legs. Um, the correct answer is Missouri. Misery, as one person put. Missouri. Great job. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one of this format. Question 16, in what state would you find Little Bighorn Battlefield? In what state would you find Little Bighorn Battlefield? Yeah, I saw. Uh, right after you type the wrong answer, your 10-year-old okay. yells the correct answer. Who was it yesterday? Accidentally clicked voice text and it just said, what's a movie? Or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's a what a movie is. Ed, you got it wrong at Alter. Here's your redemption chance. You have another? I hope you got it right this time. That was me. What is movie, <laughs> Becky? <laughs> I mean, if you want to get philosophical. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the correct answer here, as many of you knew, we were almost 40 to 45% on every one of these. Got up to 50 a little bit there. Um, so definitely a tougher round. Montana, the correct answer. Montana, a little big horn battlefield. All right, we are finished with our U.S. Geography bonus round. Wow. Um, we are now going to look at the standings and then get into our picture round. Here we go. First, second, and third. Shlemiel, Shlemazel in first. Rich H, welcome back. And up in the second at that. Uh, Bergman, 58 in third. I see the last of the mojitos. That's a oh cool my gosh, thing. that's cute. May I see your manager right behind Jen Sterna?
Oh, I should have pretended that I didn't figure out that uh, drinking game and just tried to get them really drunk tonight. Uh, Jennifer Cerna in second place. Oh, man, Jennifer Cerna. Jen Cerna moved down into third. Jen Cerna up into first. Wasted. Packing hammered. All right, that's through the standings here. We will look at that again here in just a few. But we're going to move on to our picture round. So, everyone, the format's the same. You still have a text box. You still need to type your answer in. You have 30 seconds to do so. Again, try to get it in um, within 25 seconds to give yourself the best chance of having it sent into our server. Um, but this is a picture round, so there won't be an actual question. Um, the question for each of these is the same. The picture is what will change. The question tonight is what 90s cartoon are we looking at? What 90s cartoon TV show are we looking at? I have, uh, it's not a GIF, it's just a picture. It's a still picture. Um, I'll show you the picture and you have 30 seconds to tell me what 90s cartoon it comes from. Some of these I think are easy. Some of them might test you a little bit. Um, so let's see what you know. Either way, type an answer and you don't lose points if you're wrong. Question 17, name the 90s cartoon from this screenshot. What 90s cartoon are we looking at? Person in the Forefront? Uh, yeah, like the name of the, the TV show. Oh, okay. What is the name of the show? Good question. Not the characters. Nope, not the characters. Just I need the name of the show. This one's going to be pretty, you know, I'm going to take it if you give me the character's name. It's pretty much the same. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Big sausage. <laughs> Maggie, I see what you did there. Uh, this will make you feel really bad. All right, here we go. Let's see what you all thought. Thought? Oh boy, Survivor's gonna be fun tonight. All right, everybody's up on the board. You can see a lot of people spelled this differently. You can see how um, touchy the system is. If you put an apostrophe, it accepted it because that's how I typed it in. And if you didn't, it didn't accept it. So I'm going to go ahead and just accept those with an apostrophe. So as I do that, you'll see your answers pop off the screen, but they are counted. That means that they're getting bumped into this big bundle of correct answers up here. Um, so fear not, just give me one second to mark these correct. All right, let's see. It is not Jimmy Neutron. It is not Brainiacs. It's not the Powerpuff Girls. It's not Animaniacs. Um, but it was Dirkster's Laboratory. 69% of you. Cheers, everybody. Great job. That's the social. All right, question 18. Nobody asked what I'm drinking tonight, uh, but I'm going to tell you anyway. This is a 20th century cocktail. Is that what it's called? 20th century cocktail. We have a vintage cocktail book we like to make drinks out of. This is um, gin, creme de cacao, lilith, lilith, lily, I don't know how to say it, and lemon juice. Um, it tastes like a lemon Tootsie Roll pop, if you're into that kind of thing. Question 18. Name the 90s cartoon from this screenshot. What TV cartoon are we looking at? Pronounce it after a few more drinks. Thanks, Brad. That's the confidence I need. Oh, wow. I forgot all about this cartoon. It's on Disney+. Plus. Everybody went wild uh, because it's on Disney+. Plus. Guys, how about, speaking of wild and Disney+, Plus? how about Hamilton dropping on July 3rd? It wasn't supposed to be out until October of 2021 um, and now we're getting it in July <laughs> what is Ali drinking is the new red carpet esque question <laughs> oh my god that's so true um yes Hamilton 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 we'll do guys uh, I always try to be optimistic but if we're still being forced to do these online trivias at that point I will do an all Hamilton trivia night uh, leading up to that I promise you Also big news today, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 remastered. Um, apparently that's going to take till September. Um, but, you know, 
I'll take it. We've waited, what, 20-something years? So uh, the correct answer here is Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Uh, it's on Disney+. Plus. If you've never watched it, which I'm seeing, as you can see, some of your answers didn't watch enough cartoons, Taco's Revenge. Help Steph and Gina. That was me. Help Steph mom. and Gina. Yeah. Um, so check these out. Uh, a lot of these cartoons are available to stream. Uh, you know, they're like 22 minutes long, so you can check out an episode or two and see if you like it. Question 19. Name the 90s cartoon from this screenshot. What 90s cartoon is this character from? This is the title character. Yeah, I promise you guys, if we're still doing this, then we will do Hamilton trivia. We did Broadway trivia. That one was fun. I'll need to get a full Hamilton costume. <laughs> That was your first one. Matt, thank you for coming back. That was a fun one. Broadway was fun. That was tough to write just because I I don't know as much about Broadway as I know about a lot of other random stuff. We could probably do another one, Kayla. Did we do Broadway on this system or was that on Facebook? It may have been Facebook. That might have still been on Facebook. Those look like gargoyles. I'm going with it. Yeah, Chris, <laughs> good point. What does this guy look like? Then? It looks like who he is. Yeah. Really, what the name is. Uh, I'm going to yeah, be pretty, pretty specific on this one. Yeah, that's my one rule that I have right now is if we did something on Facebook, um, I'm open to doing it again sooner. Um, you know, we're not going to do something that we did last week for a while. Um, but if we did something on Facebook, I would bring it over to this system because we can have a lot more fun on this system. Uh, the correct answer here. Just making sure none of you mar or spelled this wrong. Correct answer is Freakazoid. Freakazoid. Um, so if you thought this round was just going to be all Rugrats and Ah Real Monsters, you're in for a surprise now. Um, but the next few, I think, are much more uh, memorable. Freakazoid was fantastic. So was Gargoyles, but certainly... Not as popular as the following two shows we're going to see. So if you're not doing well, here's your chance to come back, specifically with this one. Name the 90s cartoon from this screenshot. What show are we looking at? I just realized there's words in the corner, but it doesn't say the name of the show. Oh, oh, what a gem. What a gem. Incredibles wannabe, somebody else said. Have to get yeah, Miguel Cervantes to guest host for Hamilton. Oh, well, that would be amazing. Yeah, let me know. Karen, if you, <laughs> yeah, if you can line it up, let me know. Marcos, you probably did get points. <laughs> Fluffernutter sandwich boy. Uh, what did Marcos say? Um, he spelled Dexter's laboratory wrong to get missed points. No, Marcos, you got it. If you put anything close to Dexter's, it might say on your phone you didn't get it. Um, it doesn't always say on your phone when I mark them correct. Um but that's why I, tr I try to put the answers up on the screen like you can see right now. Um, you know, the people that put Doug with an exclamation point or just spelled Doug, D-U-G, or Disney's Doug, um, all of those just got points. But on their phones, it may still tell them that they got it wrong. Um, that's just one limitation to this system. Uh, Doug is correct. Good job. Patty Mayonnaise. Somebody said, I better see Patty Mayonnaise. There you go. You got Patty Mayonnaise. You got Roger Klutz, Pork Chop, Skeeter's in there. What was it? Drumming on a trash can? Drumming on a street, on a street light. light. Banging, on Banging on a trash can. Yeah, killer tofu. Oh, Chris. Killer tofu. Killer tofu. The beats. Uh, all right, this is the final one. Name this 90s cartoon from this one <laughs> screenshot. Fluff sandwich, yeah, Fluffernutter Sandwich Boy. Now I want to. We don't have marshmallow fluff, do we? We never had a fluffernutter. We have to Instacart some <laughs> Fluffernutter. Porkchop was a good boy. Porkchop was the best boy. Uh, name the 90s cartoon from this screenshot. Uh, I'll have to share a photo in the online community. I was Quail Man one year for Halloween, and that was one of my favorite costumes. Quail sure Man. I did not watch. I think that was what? Otherwise, I would have watched it. I watched this one. I can't think of another. Yeah, you never heard of don't even like them. I don't know why I said it. I, I don't think I could eat a fluffernutter like often, 
but it is certainly a nice treat. All right, let's see what you said. <laughs> yeah, this one was huge in the 90s. We had that, um, the song intro with just the whistle. Uh, the correct answer was, or I guess maybe a bell, probably not a whistle. Recess. Recess. Disney's Recess. Recess. The DJ Jazzy Jets. <laughs> Whoa, Pipe Works has a beer inspired by a fluffer nutter. Now that I have a drink. I'm way into that. Anybody got a hookup at Pipe Works? Maybe they want to sponsor a trivia night. Cartoon Freaks and Geeks. Oh, that's adorable. That's a good one. Oh, big old Mikey. All right, let's look at the standings. First, I second, love. and third. On the top, everybody else rotating through. We still have Schlemiel, Schlemiel, Schlemazel, uh, Michelle W. in second, Rich H. in third. But I'm telling you, this is still anybody's game. The following round of questions are the toughest questions we will have. Uh, they are also the final questions we will have. We have 10 questions left. They are worth 300 points a piece, which means um, you can see as far down as 44th place is at 1747, which is only 1,100 points behind Shlemiel Shlemazel, which sounds like a lot, but that's only four questions. And, and I think most of these are pretty tough. Um, so you could do well, they could not, and things could change. Just give it your all. But again, again guys, we're playing for a prize here, so don't cheat. Don't Google anything. Don't look anything up. I really want that pipe works beer. <laughs> Toasted bread, Maggie. Toasted bread. Unless it's like a really soft white bread. Because then it's like almost like a, a little... I don't even know what I'm going for. Um, but I like toasting it. But... <laughs> Uh, if it's very soft bread, I like not toasting. I'm not wishing wishing bad things. I just like to keep the hope up. Oh, there's Jackson. All right. Ten questions left, everybody. Here comes question 22. Next ten questions are typing questions. So you have to send your answer in. But there's no theme. There's no picture round. The pictures are just there for fun. Don't read into them too much. Just enjoy them. Uh, but do make sure you get your answer in before the timer runs out. Here we go. Question 22. What popular flaming dessert was created at Brennan's Restaurant in New Orleans in the 1950s? Looking for the name of a popular flaming dessert. There's a dessert that is set on fire um, as it is served or before it's served. Sounds good to me. Yeah. What popular flaming dessert? Maggie, you're gonna get fluff for another. We have peanut butter, we have bread. We just need marshmallow. Yes, this is delicious. I've had this and I've had ice cream inspired by this. Like, Stop giving me yeah, hungry. yeah. I'm hungry too. I'm gonna get some of that chicken salad. Anybody else out there love that Cape Cod chicken salad from Costco? No one as much as you. That is my thing right now. She asked the one with the dip. Yeah, that is a good one. That is a good one. Flames, flames, and the, oh, Clue. Yeah. Oh, flames, Clue. Oh, that's the Peacock? Who says that? Peacock, right? Somebody said White. White, sorry. Um, clue trivia. I think Maggie asked for Clue trivia. I'd be no, down for some Clue already. trivia in the future. Who are I, The lady? Metal with animals. Correct answer. You guys gave me a lot of flaming desserts, but the correct one here is Bananas Foster. Bananas Foster. Not Baked Alaska, not Creme Brulee. Um, flambe, not a specific thing here. Not Peach Flambe. Flan, Flambeau. Um, the correct answer, Bananas Foster. All right. Um, let me see here. Question 23. Consistently rated one of the best TV shows ever. We just talked about it the other day. But what city was the setting for The Wire? What city was the setting for The Wire?
I need this print. Oh, that's awesome. All right, everybody's in. Just waiting on this to load. Correct answer here is Baltimore. Baltimore. Uh, Great job, 51% of you. Question 24, which US president is featured on the $2 bill? They're still in circulation. Which president is featured on the $2 bill? Let's see, let's see. A lot of you just gave me a last name, that's fine. You just have to mark it correct here. Correct answer here is Thomas Jefferson. Just the last name was fine, or T Jefferson, Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, all those good. Question 25. Talking Al Pacino. He's been nominated for eight different Oscars. Al Pacino's only won one for Best Actor. In which film? What film gave Al Pacino his only Oscar for Best Actor? A lot of good guesses, and a lot of them are Al Pacino films, so that's a good sign. Everybody's in. Correct answer, Scent of a Woman. Um, it's incredible when you see the other films just on the screen that he's been in. Um, some that he hasn't, but good guesses. Um, but Scent of a Woman, the correct answer. The only one he's won the Oscar for Best Actor. So uh, That's question 25, so we'll take a look at the standings one final time before we do the last <laughs> few questions. Shlemizel Shlemizel still up there in first. Team Cream out of nowhere up in a second. Congrats. Michelle W. still up there in third. all the way through let's go to these last few questions 
So again, these are worth, uh, you either earn all the points or you earn none of the points. Here's question 26. Uh, this question goes out to team a poo poo and a pee pee. <laughs> uh, I even put my fun little Ron giggling gif here because that's how I look every time I read this because I am a child. What South American country shares Lake Titicaca with Bolivia? What South American country shares Lake Titicaca with Bolivia? And yes, everybody, this is a water borders question. <laughs> this is a distinctly water borders question. What's, yeah, he said it. Yeah, what South American wow. country shares Lake Titicaca with wow. Bolivia? Yeah, cheers, everybody. Well, cheers to water borders. Cheers to water borders. Uh, when is HP Trivia? Marcos, it's going to happen again soon, I promise you. Um, it will happen before this, but I am excited to announce that, let me look at my calendar. And if you guys can see my calendar, you can see uh, I have it all the way out. If everything goes according to plan, I think we'll be doing trivia the week of, or because this is online and if we're still stuck at home, what else are we doing? I think we might just do Harry Potter on Harry Potter's birthday. Um, so July 31st, the Elmhurst Public Library has already reached out because they are planners. Um, and they've uh, offered to sponsor that event. So we'd have great prizes again for first, second, third place. Um, and we'll do a full night of Harry Potter trivia. Probably yeah, do a, a longer one that night. Uh, more questions, more fun, more rounds. So we will do this. Uh, Harry Potter again before then, but I just want you to know we definitely have one on the books for Harry Potter's birthday. Um, Peru. Peru, the correct answer. Lake Titicaca. I like the answer. How can you answer this when you're giggling too hard? <laughs> Good point. All right, question 27. I mentioned we had one other sports question. I think this is it. Sharing his name with the only team he ever played for. So there's a huge clue. Which NFL running back was the first ever to reach 10,000 career rushing yards? In 1964, what is the name of the individual who reached 10,000 career rushing yards? First person to do so in 1964. It's question 27. Addison better get reading. Yeah, let's tell Addison. That's why we, is Addison here tonight? Let's tell her that's why we planned it for July 31st, to give her plenty of time to finish the books. I know she switched over there to Hunger Games, right? Um, but we'll get her back on Harry Potter after Hunger Games, because I also like Hunger Games. But yeah, Harry Potter is one of my favorite series, books, films. Um, I love doing it. Chris, yes, we love when you're there, Chris. I, I've noticed when you play trivia, the nights that you're doing worse, you talk much more. Um, and that's fun. So at least you know, if you're not winning, you're making it more entertaining in the comments. I'm just checking the answers here. The correct answer here was Jim Brown. Shared his name with the only team he ever played for. Browns, Jim Brown. Good job, half of you knew it. Question 28. What is the capital city of Australia? What is the capital city of Australia? Um, we'll see if you know. I know we sometimes have people playing from Australia. It's around lunchtime there right now. So I'm always excited when they join. What is the capital city of Australia? You have 30 seconds. Thanks, Becky. I appreciate that. It's all it's hard to write Harry Potter trivia because there are some people um, that are just reading the book for the first time. Um, and then there are people that have read the books literally 10 times each. Um, and so if the trivia isn't difficult enough, you get people who just don't miss anything. Um, so I always ramp it up a little bit which, you know, is tougher for those of you that have only read it once or twice. Um, but I do try to balance it out, do some easier questions throughout the night, too. Kangaroo Jack is the mayor. <laughs> You've seen the movies at least once. That'll get you halfway there. Another one we got wrong once at Alter, but never again. Good, Ed. This is why we do trivia, so you learn. I mean, that's all trivia is. It's a fact that you hear. And, you know, when you're asked it again, if you remember it, you've learned it. And if you don't, then hopefully you remember it next time. A lot of you just spelled this one wrong, so I'm marking it right. Uh, a few of you gave me a minute work lyrics. 
I come from a land down under. Correct answer here is Canberra. Canberra, not Sydney, not Melbourne. Brisbane, Perth, Queensland, uh, Canberra. I'm gonna take that. That that's what I would type if it sounds right. All right, here we go. Question 29. Some books, some books, trivia, literature trivia. Also an accomplished poet. What is the title of the only novel that Sylvia Plath released? What is the title of her only novel? You own this one? Uh, I read it in high school, which is A Great Time for a Teenage Girl. To read that. A great, great book for a teenage girl. Angsty to read. Learning. It's a great book. <laughs> headset learning monkey, am I? Yeah, I know. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, we did Seinfeld trivia not too long ago, Chris, but we might throw another one on the books here because of that. Um, that's not a bad idea. put them up on the screen so apparently sylvia plath wrote gremlins to the new batch um harry potter half-baked poems for dummies <laughs> um canterbury tales scarlet letter the correct answer here is the bell jar if you wrote just bell jar or the bell jar you got points and half of you did um so certainly this round has been a little easier than yesterday but um, by no means a gimme, you guys. Um, we haven't really gone much higher than about half of you on each of these questions. So good job. This this last round is supposed to be tough, um, but I'm very proud about half of you are still getting these right. I meant to say in sex education, we get to join the sex education team. Mm. So. Right. Uh, this one's kind of random. Um, how many balls are used in a game of snooker? So it's Ooh. a different game. Uh, nice. Yeah, it looks like billiards. How many balls are used in a game of snooker? You can only answer with numbers, so I want you to type in how many balls are used in a game of snookers. Ooh, 10 things I hate about you. Yes. Mm. Disney and throw in some bonus Disney World questions. We could do that. We've done Disney a few times, but I would do it again. Brad, all Frank Costanza trivia. Just every Frank scene. Oh, my scene. God. That would be fun. I hardly know her. Snooker. I hardly know her. Oh my God. Guys, if you're having fun, again, if you have nothing else to do, join us at 9 um, Central here in 50 minutes for Survivor Trivia. We're going to be doing it. I don't, I'm, I'm excited. I think the people that join, um, other than anybody here, you know, will be very big Survivor fans. Um, but it's going to be fun no matter what. Season 40 finale is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Season 40 finale is tomorrow if you can believe it it's on the sh on the air for 20 years 40 seasons the correct answer here is 22 22 balls used in a game of snooker this one i've used as a question um before with a music clue um and i play taylor swift's 22 Ooh. i really miss music and music clues and music trivia uh we can't do it on youtube yeah. yeah if we play music youtube will shut it down instantly um you wouldn't hear me talking anymore and you wouldn't hear the music. Um, so I'm working on that. I have some fun ideas for you guys that are missing the music trivia too. Um, if you've played music bingo with us, you know we have some incredible musicians. Um, I'm going to see if I can grease their palms and maybe have them play a couple music rounds, some 10 song snippets, just like we would do at the bars. Um, maybe we can try that out. Question 31, final question, everybody. Final question for you. Unlicensed music trivia. Yeah, let's see how many of those you guys know. And we'll just write them all. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you know your history, you can at least take a 1 in 13 shot here. Question 31. It was also the last one established by Great Britain. What was the southernmost of the original 13 American colonies? Also, the last one established by Great Britain. What was the southernmost of the original 13 colonies? Little drink disappeared. Funny how that happens. I want another one of those brown ales. There's plenty for you. But also, I want another one of those brown ales. Hard to see. Eat dinner and then become. Yeah, good point. Hum it or sing it yourself. Yeah, right. 
music trivia using only public songs. Um, I, Chris, I cannot believe you didn't suggest 1860s music trivia. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would be license-free, copyright-free. We could do 1860s music trivia. Yes, Nicole, I miss music clues too. It made my job harder. Writing questions with music clues is tough, but I love it. All right, correct answer here. The southernmost of the original 13 colonies, the also the last one to be added is and was Georgia, Georgia, where the peaches grow. Good job, everybody. 55% yeah, of you knew you that. Do. So here we go. Let's look at the final standings. First, second, third across the top. If you're in first place, send us a message to the Bag of Tricks Entertainment Facebook page. You get a $25 gift card to Elmhurst Brewing Company. I don't remember which way that is on the screen. Um, so thank you so much to Elmhurst Brewing Company for sponsoring this. Thank you to all of you that came out and played. Um, and again, I, I don't ask this often, but I'm going to start doing that. Um, if you're not doing anything tonight at nine and you just want to hang out and even chat in the comments, join us for Survivor Trivia. Yeah, um, it's, fun. yeah it's going to be fun. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. My mom's going to be there. She's playing. Um, so you can chat with my mom. Um, but guys, also the other thing I always forget to ask, I don't know where it's located on your screen. Make sure you subscribe to the Bag of Tricks YouTube page. Um, that makes it easy. So when we go live with these videos, it pops up for you, gives you a notification. You can just click it and join. Um, also, in the future, I'm going to start posting other videos that aren't just live stream things. We'll do fun behind the scenes stuff. Um, maybe the invention of this Begatrix cocktail. Maybe we'll come up with that choreographed dance. Um, we'll post stuff like that on our Facebook or on our YouTube just for fun. Uh, so please do subscribe. Give this video a like. Slap like now, as Davey504 would say, um, if you will. All right, let's see the final standings. In first, second, and third, Shlamil, Shlamazel. In first, uh, actually a demanding lead, 46.04 to 43 in t uh, second, Team Cream, and then Nick Miller from the streets of Chicago up into third place. Congratulations. Yeah, I will let the rest of these rotate through so everybody, you can hang out, watch those. Um, but that is it for trivia tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Let's take one more look at the pup. Still sleeping. You want to say bye? Oh, no. He's asleep. Uh, thank you guys so, all for being here. Oh, question. Kayla asked that you, do you still want to sing the theme song and send it to you? We oh, still yeah. Need to get... Kayla, I still need to coordinate that. I, I haven't had a lot of time to work with that video, um, but I do want to. So uh, I will work with Gina here because we need to send the song out so you guys can sing along. Um, and then, yes, I would love to get some of you just lip syncing that song so we can splice in clips of you guys having fun. Um, my friend Kevin and, and Allison sent me a cool video the other day um when we started trivia she was just singing along you know a, as it played on youtube um so that that gave me some umph to get this done uh, so thank you for the reminder too uh we will send out some some things to make that happen because i would love to get you guys involved um in that that theme song that haunts somebody's dream uh, all right that's it for trivia tonight right now we'll be back in 45 short minutes um for survivor trivia please join us guys uh if not we'll see you tomorrow we have music bingo at seven and then general knowledge trivia at nine Thanks, guys, and thank you for the donation. It just came through from somebody, but it's not showing me. Uh, Olivia, thank you so much with seven exclamation points. Appreciate you and appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Thanks, Have a good night. Wash your damn hands.